Salutations everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dominions 4 Thrones of Ascension. Where we had last left off, we had uh, failed to take the final throne. Although we've built up a sizable force, we were able to capture the throne of Dubros. And we are basically sitting around waiting and biding our time until, as is appropriate, we'll be able to lay claim to Ragdan. Anremark, which was taken away from us by, uh, uh, what was his face? Matua, Lord of the Desert Sun. And they're launching hurricanes at us yet again. <sighs> Getting fucking sick and tired of this. So we tell her the mad priest who is attempting. Well, we were having him cast a mind, uh, imprint souls, but that doesn't exactly work right now. So I'm going to send Isaac back to casting Akashic Knowledge, so we can continue to try to discover the locations of all these magic sites, as is our duty. Faircliff, due to their ability to have so many flying units, is going to get a boost to around 60 province defense, just to hold off any amount. See the signs. What are you doing? I might try to. S no, I can't physically remove Ramadan. Unless I was ahead of a way to sacrifice him, but that's just no possibility. You will patrol with your army. You have no real purpose other than that. Nifagola, the consort, grab your horde and grab your sword. Get ready to fight the Lord of the Desert Sun. Or we could hope, hope that we could overpower him through sheer, like, really, I just need to start, like, laying claim to these regions and pushing them back further and further. Uh, we could actually probably see some more province defense. We'll get him up to the full 100. And with that, we will probably end the turn here, as we're still kind of waiting. Akashi Acknowledge has been cast, new magic site's been found in Quadre. Tears of the Ancients. Submerged Labyrinth. I'm guessing it's the Forest of Amber. Amber Kelp. One nature, fire and water, and gets the Amber Clan Mage. Life underneath the waves corresponds in many ways to that on dry land. Both humans and animals have underwater counterparts. Tritons are the most common of aquatic humanoids. They appear as humans with legs ending in fins. The Amber Clan are secretive orders of trait Triton aristocrats, led by mages and priests who serve the Triton kings. They are proud and strong, and a few of the clans managed to survive the Atlantean onslaught. The Amber Clans have since become independent and denounced the rulership of the Triton Kings. The Amber Mages forge strange Amber armor for their guards. Interesting. You're not that great, but I would not... Oh, I need a lab to make you... As I was saying, they're not that great, but I might consider them. Nifogola. I'm probably going to continue recruitment of more commanders from this force, because I definitely could make use of it. So, let us repeated recruitment. Drop you down by one, move you up by one, and we'll get our consorts back. As we definitely are picking up enough troops to make it worth our while for like the next three months. Now, they have an army of about 330. We've, in response, got our own defenses here. And Rainbow is still being, like, amazing. The sea serpent. If only we could move him out of the water. Disappointing. I'm also halfway tempted, because we did upgrade Dragol to have him... Well, first things first, need him to forge a very specific item. And my nose is still bothering me, if you couldn't tell. In fact, it is really, really annoying. Barrel of air. Underwater. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in a helmet. The Winged Helm, which grants increased air magic. I want you to forge one, put it on, and then maybe I'll have you cast the Endless Enchantment of Storms, as that fouls any ranged weapon used against us, and stops their ability to fly, which we don't really make use of. That's a lot of forces. That would intimidate me, but I'm already at 93 province defense here, so yeah. No one else? Nothing? Fine. 
Actually, acknowledge new misty magic sites in the Misty Bog. We already have that, but we have the... Jesus Christ. Statue of the Sitting God increases order, enchantment bonus of 20, and produces one astral gem a turn. We already have the Azure Academy, enchanted tomb, and a burial mound. And we have a report from Dubros. Suddenly, a small number of fling bolts appeared out of nowhere and struck the army located in the here. Thirteen were hit, and of these, six were killed. There was a battle in Faircliff. Kalium. This is why I got a force together to deal with this. Like, a militia of any a sizable amount can easily deal with this. And the remnants of dead prophet's power have left the world. I can now appoint a new prophet. But none of the player characters are here. This makes me sad. But honestly, I might just select Pulu because she's been sitting here preaching for so bloody long and it could only help me that she would have the ability to do this. You know what? Become my prophet. And Nifgola. You have an army of three of those. Go to the battlefield. Dragol, you've finished forging. Wear the silly helmet you just made. You are now the tier five mage that we all know. And you aren't supposed to move. No, 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 no. You are to cast Perpetual Storm. If you can afford We can definitely afford it. All mountain passes are unusable during the Perpetual Storm, and shooting in battle is very difficult. This will reduce income of all land, provinces, supplies are scarce, as transportation is difficult, and sailing and flying is impossible. Hmm. This might backfire horrendously. I won't cast it yet. Not yet. But, there is something I probably will cast. Windride. Someone's a whirlwind to it in the province of his choice. The whirlwind will try and find a commander in the province and transform where the air mage is located. The spell is an effective way of rescuing cornered commanders, but can also be a very effective way of getting enemy commanders out of the way. Large beings are difficult or impossible to lift as are powerful earth mages. Hmm. Honestly, if I had more troops here, I would definitely do this. But I really don't, and I'm fairly certain Dragol with all his resistance and stuff like that, is not really able to stop him. So I'm going to have him go back to being a researcher, and nothing more. Vor, you have been created. Your goal? Collect more troops. We really don't have anything else to do. How's the research coming along? We're getting there. We're getting there. We're close to level 8, which gives us Astral Tempest. But I need to get to level 9 for the Strands of Arcane Power. Anything else here? Not really. We're going to have a profit soon, which is all that really matters. Those are pushing back their domain strength. And we were able to push them back once, but I definitely want to push forward once again. Maybe head straight through Rogadon and try to take Anramak then. And I'm really curious where our mutual foe happens to be hiding. Because he just disappeared without a word. And you're definitely recruiting. You're recruiting, but you're not doing anything just yet. Proclamation from Atlantis. Pulu the Coral Queen has joined us. Akashi Acknowledge found two new magic sites in Der Cid. The Red Forest producing fire and earth. And the Pool of Perpetual Night? No, which is bog, which is water and death. That doesn't seem right. Painted cave? No. Fine. Sneakin was discovered and shortly murdered, and they're using necromancy. My troops in Wick are starting to starve. Well, that's not my problem. You will continue to preach. Preach my name. You two will actually head on out there. To the front lines. Even though I'm fairly certain this is just going to result in your death and demise. But you've got backup coming your way. Fungu, the consort. Keep marching. Keep marching. How's this fortification look? I've already got enough storage and supplies and stuff like that where we shouldn't have a humongous issue. Vor, get more shamblers and then return. We'll create one more who will just be there to pick up the remnants. And we still have all those water... We still have all the living waters that just never bothered picking up from Mir because what's the point? 
Oh, yes, I wanted to up you to 100. And I wanted to up Faircliff to 70. Once again, we're just trying to put an impossible front between them and us. Like, good luck taking any of this without losing a significant portion of your army and allow us to retaliate freely. Do they really have nothing here? Uh, duh, because they're not expecting it. They haven't moved in forever. Hmm. Where's Matumwa? Where did he go? Something that large just doesn't disappear. It just doesn't happen. End turn. Akashi acknowledge, which is all I really care about. He's been contacting sea trolls for forever. We found two more. Wait, what? Dubros. You found the thorn maze. And the fire prison. Four fire gems a turn. Excellent. I got the battlefield, right? But you looked at this twice, didn't you? Oh, well, we found so many fire gems a turn. We might as well just, like, pump out some fire mages. Uh, Azang. You can't cast that anymore, can you? No, you can. You're just being lazy. Akashay acknowledge. Or do we, do we legitimately cast it everywhere? Wow, we legitimately casted it everywhere, except Atlantis. Or is it because it's not in range? What is the range of that, by the way? Ten provinces, Akashi acknowledge, if I were to target you. Yeah, you haven't hit Atlantis with it. I doubt there are going to be any of them there, but you never know. In fact, I'm fairly certain there won't be any there, but eh, you never know. Alright. Although they split themselves up a lot. Oh, yeah, duh, duh, duh. duh. Uh, Battle in Ragdon. Let's see what happened. I mean, these guys are just meat shields, after all. Who are meant to just eat up a lot of their forces and pave the way, so to speak. And yes, I'm a fan of the horde tactic with this one, so they can't single out my commanders. Because they look the same, act the same. Unexpected event in Anastasia. A local slave world. Lord is seeking absolution for his sins. He has donated some virgins to my cause. This music playing in response to this event is... Troublesome, to say the least. Fungu. Take all of them. Move. Okay, we don't actually need any more of you. That's the wrong location, you moron. We don't need any more of you, recruitment. We actually just need more... We really just need more resources, but I can't afford more resources. Uh, for more, you're the one that actually needs this army to go with you. And then you can head on out further. Lugshaf, you will just patrol the province for a while. And with that, I do need to start hiring some more troops. My nose is still bothering me for the longest time, but I don't want to get up and go. I also don't want to go blow my nose. And of course, it would do this in the middle of recording. <sighs> Great. So, some more battles happen. Akashi acknowledged nothing's been found in Atlantis, which is just kind of. No. You were mentally attacked by an enemy mage. He survived the attack. There's a battle of Ragdan, Misty Bollock Sneak, and it was discovered by the local militia. In Wick and just destroyed. And the Deep Seer died from disease. So, let's visit the Misty Bollock. I'm curious. Kalium attacked me with what? Merman. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh, the Mermaid Captain. I'm guessing you were, like, a specialty commander. Well, that's not my problem. You really should have just surrendered to me when you had the chance, because now you're just dead. But the Battle of Ragdon is the one I'm more interested in. What happened here? With what are you attacking me? Why are there so many of you? Dear God, all the 
stats. It hurts. It hurts me. I can't even get rid of you. Your frost brand and the ice sword. You just have a bunch of low-level magic items, but I can understand why you have them. But this is more annoying because I can't do anything to you because I just can't get a big enough army together. Not my usual summon ten thousand death units and then have them overrun whatever's encountering me it doesn't exactly work against people like you. Well. I get the feeling this force is going to die, but we are going to die gloriously. And by die gloriously, I mean literally gut them down as they keep trying. When's Matumbo going to take the field? He's not, he's just going to be an annoying nuisance to me at all times. Unless those guys' morale broke, which looks like it did. No, the morale didn't break. We're not even the only ones that are retreating are the Shamblers and Ichthids. Until now, where their morale finally shattered. And Matumwa, of course, comes afterwards. I really, really wish I could have killed more of them off. Although they had a lot of retreating units too. How much did they lose from that? Right, done. Eh. We traded about evenly. We just had less troops than they did. I am fine with this. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like, even if you retreat, most of your troops are still here. Which means we can quite easily set everyone together, create the Horde of Doom, and then launch another assault. And we've already got backup being formed. It's just going to take a little bit before the backup's here. Oh yeah, we have a fortress right here. Duh. I don't even know why I'm not creating war shamblers from this look. That's also why we have no sub resources. This place is taking the rest of them. Fine. Okay, uh, War Shamblers, then. Even though it eats up all the resources here, we might as well do it. Uh, Vor, get ready to charge. Oh, haha, 520 units. That's adorable. Everyone at the ready, your combined might is about equal to their army now. Ignoring Pulu. Which, I really should bring Pulu into this as well, but I don't feel as if that's, there's like a point to that just yet. So I want you to charge yet again. And we're just going to keep skirmishing them down, because clearly we're actually overwhelming them. And their domain is being pushed back so severely and violently. Shantak, you know what? Enough of this. Cast Ritual Spell. Sea King's Court. I need a few. I need some commander here, because we've got enough trolls that we could probably overwhelm some of the surrounding provinces and basically just end them immediately. Azang, honestly, I don't know what to cast with you anymore. Everything else was great, but there's no real good summoning magics with astral stuff. Hmm, arcane probing isn't helpful, nor does mind hunt. Hmm. What spells do you know, Azang? With all that magic, what spells do you know? Well, the easy way to figure that out is to go here, set battle orders, cast a spell. What are you casting? Do you know Soul Slay? You do. You do. So in this case, I will have you cast the ritual spell, Mind Hunt, on... Here, we'll cast Mind Hunt there, we'll see if we can find any mages that are just kind of hiding there for whatever reason. And all these people have been building up troops for forever, we'll actually start automatically recruiting some merman captains. 
And with all these troops being recruited, we will have a few, like, battle groups formed, and we're going to try to take them down, at least for the next episode. And I really, really hope that this episode is not going to be corrupted again for no apparent reason. Because it very much looks like it will be corrupted yet again. Anyone else? Nope. I guess we'll end our turn currently. That better be... I don't know, Pyrrhus got struck Pulu straight in the heart. He survived but got wounded. Sea King's Court. Mind hunt. An enemy commander called Berezev was mentally attacked, but Berezev managed to resist the spell. The Battle of Dubros began. Kalium attempted to attack me. With birds. The birds failed. I don't know why computer's just like having this little screwy, like messed up business here. I might have to go and check and see if the virus like, like actually is on the PC, but I doubt it. I haven't downloaded anything illegal or anything like that. The most I've gotten is a character sheet. That is freely available. Why are you ethereal? Why are you ethereal? Probably a spell cast. Watoom was here, but the rest of your army is. So we can definitely cut you down in the meantime. Are you really retreating? Is your morale really that bad? Oh my gosh. Oh no, our armies are routed. Oh no, just as they routed as well. I'm probably going to end the episode very, very soon because it's getting really annoying, but I'm just going to run through the battles really quick. And you're trying to attack us this time around. You might actually succeed with this army. Maybe. Although we are on home territory. You're blessing them, but I don't know your blessings are actually doing anything. The mammoths are the most annoying sound in the world, and they refuse to rampage. Why can't they just rampage their own troops? That would be so much more helpful for me. Oh, quit retreating! Come on, man! We've literally just taken out their front line. Yeah, they're routed, see? I don't know why the heck you're running away from anything. Der Sid giving- I believe I'll end the episode here. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20 with Let's Play Dominions 4 Thrones of Ascension, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe for it upset a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. Farewell.